With a single strip of border, Bama Construction and Remodeling Superintendent Jim Speck finished up his company's obligation to Bill and Mary Dutter today. Three weeks ago, Bama and the Dutters agreed to a $2,400 renovation project. Despite minor delays, the Dutters are very pleased. His business operations are not our concern. What our concern was is getting our home completed and, and getting the contract we signed fulfilled. And that, that's basically, yeah, that's, that was our concern. The debtors weren't always so upbeat. At one point, workers placed a mantle outside where it was rained on and ruined. It got worse. Mrs. Dutter filed a police report which said there were articles taken from the residence. An estimated $300 was missing, but that problem, too, was solved. The money was missing. Um, I expressed that to Mr. Nelson Monday when he came out. That was taken off our bill. The Dutters say they'd hire Bama Construction again for renovations. That's how pleased they are with the results. But not everyone is so happy, especially folks who claim James Nelson and Bama Construction still owe them money. Mr. Nelson. Norm Miller signed a $92,000 contract with Bama Construction and Remodeling to build his dream home in Bruton. The workers walked off because they weren't getting paid by Bama and James Nelson. Miller says he's only days away from filing a lawsuit to get back the money he's owed. I'm afraid if this uh, is not resolved that uh, with emotions running high that something negative might come out of it. It remains to be seen if James Nelson and his company can turn another negative into a positive. In Mobile, I'm Chris Schauble, Action News 10.